Aloha. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Thank you for joining this live stream event. Today is September 20. It is a Tuesday in 2016. My name is Master Paul Fletcher, and it is truly an honor to be with you here today. I am inside of Master Shah's Tao Healing Center, and we are very blessed to receive any live stream from this location, as it is a healing center. There is countless saints, saints animals, temple souls, treasures, and all layers of the divine Tao and source that are here at the center. And so every Tuesday I am blessed to be one of the divine channels that uh, is it's my uh, soul leader day, so to speak, here at the center. So truly a blessing to be able to call forth all of the holy beings that are present here, which we're going to do in just a few minutes. And so today we'll be focusing on day two of the ten days of the ten das. So I see Kristen Rojas has joined us. Joel, welcome Joel. Welcome Pamela and Johnny. Great to see you all. I see Kristen Strachan has joined us. Thank you, Kristen, for posting that incredible video on the orange aspen trees. Made my heart open right up with the beautiful colors. I just love those colors. Welcome, Pat. <clears throat> and so, as we uh, reconnect to some of the teachings from yesterday, what are the ten das? Dr. and Master Shah is my spiritual teacher and father. He is the reason I have the label of what's being called a divine channel. A divine channel is simply a vessel to serve humanity. And part of that is transferring the wisdom that has come through this most benevolent being to serve humanity. The ten das are ten of the most virtuous attributes that we can apply in our life. And they include the greatest love, the greatest forgiveness, greatest compassion, greatest light, greatest humility, greatest harmony. They include the greatest flourishing, greatest gratitude, greatest service, and the greatest enlightenment. The word da stands for greatest. That's why it's the ten das. Okay? And so yesterday, uh, if you did not get a chance to watch the video, then please go back to my Facebook page underneath the main picture, click on About, scroll down to Videos, and you can see yesterday's video on Da I, which was on the greatest love. Today we'll be focusing on Da Quan Shu. Da means greatest. Quan Shu is Mandarin Chinese for the word forgiveness. Greatest forgiveness. Okay, and so I want to also further acknowledge other bells who's coming on. Elizabeth Tarago, wonderful. Thank you for, for making it. Anne Vizcara, great to see you, Anne. Uh, Elizabeth Folk and Donnie, Donna Bawana. Uh, Suki, wonderful to see you. Uh, hopefully the blessing that uh, was offered the other day, Suki, the soul operation. I saw you said that it went from an 8 to a 2. I was so happy to see such a great result. I know you do such unconditional service helping the cancer patients you know, in India, so I was happy that Heaven uh, was willing to give you such a, a great uh, healing. I hope that it is stuck. And Patricia, um, welcome. Amy Minago. So thank you all for coming. Please hit the share button, let other people know that we are live now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and ask all the holy beings. We're here at Master Shah's Tao Healing Center in Honolulu. So I'm going to ask them to come to join us. And then we're going to chant one round of love, peace, and harmony to connect hearts and souls together. And we'll move forward to the teachings and the blessings. <clears throat> Dear all layers of the divine, all layers of the Tao, all layers of the source to original creator. Dear Master Shah, dear Master Shah's original soul. Dear all of the holy beings here at Master Shah's Tao Healing Center, the countless saints, saints, animals, temple souls, and treasures at the center, and all the calligraphies as well. We love you, honor you, respect you, and I personally bow down to you. I ask at this time, in whatever way is appropriate, that you be present to offer your guidance, wisdom, insights, and blessings to all those that watch this video, past, present, and future. We ask those that listen to this audio to please receive any blessings as appropriate. We are deeply honored and grateful. We ask all of our individual Heavens teams, guides, angels, and saints to please join us at this time to bless our soul journey, to bless us to align 
our soul to uh, our heaven's teams and to align our soul to its intention so that we can assist it in completing its task in this lifetime. We are deeply honored and grateful for the opportunity to connect heart to heart, soul to soul through these 10 virtuous days and to receive the highest wisdom and blessings. We ask the source soul song of love, peace and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes to please turn on and as we chant love, peace and harmony, we ask it to please connect us heart to heart, soul to soul to remove blockages that separate us and all humanity from seeing our oneness. We are deeply honored and grateful. For those that know the song, you're welcome to sing along. For those that do not, please close your eyes and receive the blessings. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. O I, wo shin erling. O I, tran, ran lay. Wong li, rung, her musher shang. Song I ping on a Song I ping on a I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls. Together, love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we've had some new people joining us. Welcome Kathy Campbell. Uh, welcome uh, Mary Ann Thornton. Welcome Anna Marie Custodio. Uh, great to see you, Tina. Hopefully the sole operation I offered you that today is holding. Please let us know. You're still at a zero. You went from a five to a zero with that blessing. For those that are not familiar with it, I offered uh, at the end of the day, I think it was Friday, uh, I offered a quick two-minute sole operation. Two people, one was in an eight pain, it went down to a two. The other was in a five pain, it went down to a zero. Both had uh, shoulder issues. That's the power of soul to heal. And that's the power that Master Shah has uh, blessed me with as a divine channel. Would be absolutely nothing without this incredible uh, being serving humanity. So if you'd like to know more about those kinds of healings, let me know. I'm happy to serve you individually. Okay. Um, uh, welcome, Chrissy Koto. Great to see you. Okay. So today, today is a great day. It is the day that we can release a great deal of blockages. I want to talk a little bit about the power and significance of forgiveness from the perspective as taught by Dr. and Master Shah. You know, we've all done our own versions of forgiveness. This is the second da, ah, the second day, greatest forgiveness. Many of us have done numerous uh, conversations with God, to ourselves, to others about forgiveness, yet a great deal of us tend to hold on to blockages. I see my phone skipping a little bit, so I give it a little chance to catch up. So, what is forgiveness and why is it so important? Dr. Master Shah has some readings in his book. I want to offer a little, uh, a little additional teachings specific so you can do it to, for yourself on your own. It is often very hard for us to forgive one or two people in our life. We just can't seem to find that deep place. What actually occurs when we think we've forgiven them is we just find a place in which we don't think about them. We just say, you know, I've let it go. I don't worry about it anymore because the thought of it hurts too much. And so we think that we have forgiven. We find a way and then basically to cover it up and shove it in a corner and not think about it. This is not truly forgiveness. So why is it so difficult to forgive somebody um, when we have been, quote, the victim? 
the main reason why is because we accept the role of victim. From the, the much, much bigger perspective of the universe, everything is circular. Everything has the possibility of having a precursor. Uh, the, the bodhisattvas, they do not fear um, what is, what is in front of them right now bothering them? Uh, what is the trouble that's in their world right now? No, they have no fear around that. What they fear is every thought, word, and action that can create more of what's coming to them. That's their fear. And so what does that have to do with forgiveness? Any unpleasant thing in your life, any unpleasant action that's occurred to you, any unpleasant financial condition you're in, any unpleasant health condition you're in, any unpleasant relationship condition that you're in, all have a root cause. Any success you're experiencing, any excellent relationship and love you're experiencing, any excellent health you're experiencing, they all have a root cause. It is karma. Karma is not all bad. You have excellent, good, virtuous karma. You have the not so good stuff, uh, spiritual debt. So when something happens to us and we cannot forgive that person, the higher road, the higher perspective, the one that Jesus shared with us to turn the other cheek can go much deeper and that is a recognition that there is a possibility regardless of our remembering that we may have brought that to us by actions of our own accord from a previous time why does the Bodhisattva fear making those mistakes because they don't want to have the boomerang effect they have enough awareness so if you were the victim of a rape if you were the victim of a financial ripoff if you were the victim of, uh, of the spouses that you have attracted into your life being um, abusive on some level. These are examples of, of playing the victim role. There is a reasonable possibility, at least 50%, that we initiated that kind of suffering upon others in a previous time. Therefore, they potentially could come around to bother us. So when we offer forgiveness to that person, quote, that has hurt us, we're not saying, oh, thank you very much. I'm happy to be your doormat. Please, you know, please dump on me some more. I truly appreciate it. No, we're not saying that. We're saying, I recognize that if I, at any point in time, had created the kind of suffering that I was on the receiving end of, then I need to be the one apologizing. And I also need to be uh, strong enough, uh, big enough, to forgive you because you might be a soul that is reminding me if I had ever done anything like that to you. And I truly do not wish to hold on to this anymore at the deepest levels. And I truly, truly wish to forgive you entirely, completely, so that this experience does not have to go around in a circle. That is the bigger perspective and picture that Dr. and Master Shah brings to us. So as I go through this practice today of greatest forgiveness, know that this can be applied to every corner of your life. You got trouble with the boss? Stand up, take some responsibility. Maybe you were the jerk at some point in time. Offer greatest forgiveness. Ask for greatest forgiveness. It is the, the, the secret to a much healthier and happier life. So now I'm going to read from Dr. Master Shah's book. This is the newest book called Soul Over Matter. So already New York Times bestseller, uh, Wall Street Journal bestseller, it's hit bestseller Amazon, Barnes and Nobles, it's, it's hit all the tops of the list. Why? Because it's divine wisdom. <clears throat> the answer was already given, Anna Maris. Do deep and authentic forgiveness practice a lot. Serve unconditionally using love, peace, and harmony. More will come. Continue to attend these. Okay. So, page 90, I'm going to back up one page when he starts the discussion on this. Practice 2, because he's going through the 10 Da's in this book. Da Quan Shu. What does Da mean? Greatest. What is Quan Shu? Mandarin Chinese for forgiveness. Quan Shu is spelled Q-U-A-N space S-H-U. Okay. Da Quan Shu. Quan Shu means forgiveness. Forgiveness is the key to bringing love, peace, and harmony into your life. The wisdom of Da Quan Shu, within a family or a business, there could be many conflicts and challenges. Applying forgiveness is vital to transforming these blockages. To flourish financially, to flourish with health, to flourish with anything, but his, his teachings here is to flourish financially is vital 
to have love and peace and harmony. Ancient wisdom is that love, peace and harmony can bring great financial abundance. Without forgiveness, true love, peace and harmony cannot be achieved. Forgiveness practice is the key to self-clear one's negative personal and ancestral karma. The one sentence secret about karma that he shares in all his books, including The Power of Soul, is karma is the root cause of success and failure in every aspect of life. The more you do forgiveness practice, the more flourishing you could achieve. Some people may think that they already have great financial flourishing. Without doing this kind of practice, remember these teachings that these individuals that have good karma from their previous and present lifetimes, good karma brings a lot of virtue, which is heaven's flowers. This good virtue along with their and their business team's efforts had brought financial abundance. Even so, forgiveness practice could make their finances and business flourish even more. So no one can say that they have never made a mistake. Everyone makes mistakes in every lifetime. Everyone needs forgiveness. In one sentence, forgiveness practice is the golden pearl to transform your finances and your business. The four power phrases are key secrets to Da Quan Shu. So Master Sha teaches, Er Dar Quan Shu, Wo Yuan Liang Ni, Ni Yuan Liang Wo, Xiang Ai Ping An He She. Er Dar Quan Shu, Er means two or second, Da means greatest. Quan Shu means forgiveness, Er Dar Quan Shu means the second of the ten da qualities is greatest forgiveness. Wo yuan liang ni. Wo means I. Yuan ling. Uh, yuan liang means forgive. Ni means you. Wo yuan liang ni means I forgive you. Two or more people could have many challenges in their relationships with each other. To apply true forgiveness is a priceless treasure. To bring love, peace, and harmony to relationships, organizations, and businesses. First, you need to forgive others for all the mistakes they have made in this lifetime and in past lifetimes to hurt and harm you. This is true forgiveness. Some people cannot forgive. If one cannot forgive, one will continue to suffer. Um, before I learned Dr. Master Shah's teachings, I would, I would share with people. When you cannot forgive somebody, who is the one behind the prison bars with their hands on the bars rattling the cage? Is it you or is it the person that you cannot forgive? Who is behind the bars rattling the bars? We are the ones that suffer if we cannot forgive. Very simple. Master Shah teaches the next line, Ni Yuan Liang Wo, which means you forgive me. So the previous one was, I forgive you. The, second, the next line is, you forgive me. And Xiang Ai Ping Ang He She, which means love, peace, and harmony. So in summary, these four phrases can be expressed as follows. I forgive you. You forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. Use greatest forgiveness to bring this condition. So he cannot emphasize enough the importance of doing regular practice. So let us do the Soul Over Matter practice for Da Quan Shu together now. We will apply five powers. So follow these instructions where you're at home. Sit up straight. Bring your back away from the back of the chair. If it's uncomfortable, then of course remain lying down. If anybody is lying down because of uncomfortability, tired, exhaustion, sick, do not chant out loud. Other than that, and the reason why is because it will drain your energy. But do chant, just chant silently. Okay? <clears throat> um, body power. Place one palm over your navel, place the other palm over your heart. Wonderful to see you, Dove, Michelle, Crystal, um, Kayla Darling, Suki, and uh, Angie Taylor. Great to see you, Stephanie, as well. Thank you all for joining. 
soul power. Everybody repeat after me. So again, one hand over the heart, one hand over the lower abdomen. Close your eyes, connect to heaven, repeat after me. Dear all the Shen, Qi, and Jing of every human being and every business, that my ancestors, I, our businesses, have hurt or harmed in this lifetime and previous lifetimes. We deeply apologize. Please forgive us. We know in our hearts that only to ask for forgiveness is not enough, that we have to serve. To serve is to make others happier and healthier. We will offer more humanitarian service. We will chant and meditate more. We will serve unconditionally. Thank you so much. Continue to repeat with your eyes closed. Visualize. Dear everyone and everything that has hurt or harmed my ancestors, our business, and me in all lifetimes. I totally forgive you. I forgive you unconditionally. And now we say hello to the outer souls. Continue to repeat. Dear Source, dear Heaven and Mother Earth, dear all saints in Heaven and on Mother Earth, dear Tao Source Calligraphy, Da Quan Chu, please forgive my ancestors and me for our businesses and all our financial dealings, all of our mistakes that we have made related to finances and business or in any other aspect of life through our many, many lifetimes. I am extremely honored and grateful. I know in my heart that to only ask for forgiveness is not enough that I have to serve, serve and serve. I thank you for the opportunity to receive your blessings. And so with your eyes closed, you will visualize golden light shining in and around your heart. And we will chant, either silently or out loud, depending on where you are and the conditions you're with, Da Quan Shu. I will trace the Da Quan Shu calligraphy that has received huge blessings into it on your behalf. Now this is for greatest forgiveness, so choose one person in your life that you really need to do forgiveness with. If it's not a person, choose a condition such as finances or a health issue. And I will chant Da Quan Shu to lead you. Let us begin. Da Quan Shu, 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 Da Quan Shu. Da Quan Chu, Da Quan Chu, greatest forgiveness, greatest forgiveness, greatest forgiveness. Greatest forgiveness, Da Quan Chu, Da Quan Chu, Da Quan Chu, Da Quan Chu. Now, I will continue to chant and trace on your behalf. I would like each of you to individually ask for forgiveness on behalf of you and your ancestors for this in all lifetimes that your financial flourishing has been negatively impacted as a result 
of you and your ancestors' actions. Truly be regretful. Maybe you stole. Maybe your ancestors took people's lands and therefore they could not make food for themselves. They could not have a business. Maybe you or your ancestors were in businesses that undermined people's success. Ask for forgiveness as I continue to serve you. Da Quan Shu Da Quan Shu Da Quan Shu Da Quan Shu Greatest forgiveness Greatest forgiveness, greatest forgiveness, greatest forgiveness. Da Quan Shu, Da Quan. I forgive you, you forgive me. Bring love, peace, harmony. Bring love, peace, harmony. I forgive you. Please forgive me. Bring love, peace, harmony. Bring love, peace, and harmony. Da Quan Shu Da Quan Shu Da Quan Shu Da Quan Shu Greatest forgiveness, greatest forgiveness, greatest forgiveness, greatest forgiveness. Da Quan Shu, 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 Da Quan Shu. Greatest forgiveness, greatest forgiveness, greatest forgiveness, greatest forgiveness, greatest forgiveness, greatest forgiveness, greatest forgiveness. Continue to chant Da Quan Shu silently. I will offer a soul reading as to what is transpiring at this time. As the Da Quan Shu calligraphy the countless saints, saints, animals, temple souls, and treasures, they have already been invoked and they are serving you now. How? At this time, there are armies of heaven's generals and soldiers. There are heaven's angels. There are teams of saints, animals, that are associated with this Da Quan Shu calligraphy. They have come to each of those on the line and for each of those that are watching this video. They are gently coming into each of your areas of blockage and they are asking for those souls that have held on to let go, to accept this virtue that has been so benevolently offered 
on your behalf through the services of the one known as Dr. and Master Shah, who serves the Divine unconditionally. This virtue through these calligraphies is truly unheard of. There are quite a few souls who have agreed to accept this virtue. There were two souls currently that have heart concerns. For both of these souls, this forgiveness is quite pertinent to their health and well-being, as one of them within the next nine months could have a significant attack. The other one, the intention of the souls bringing karma to this area was to bring a great deal of suffering for a much longer period of time. This would have resulted eventually in their departure earlier than expected. There are others that hold on to the condition of anxiety. This anxiety is around the fear of loss of what they have and fear of the future. There is virtue being offered in each of their Akashic records to help lift some of the reasons why that virtue and that anxiety and fear has come to them. Each of these souls, there are seven total who have this condition, have earned this negative debt through causing fear and anxiety upon others. This is a very important lesson to be learned. Further, the saints' animals are coming to many of the areas of the lower abdomen in which there is sufferings in the abdominal region including discomfort, indigestion, aspects which include constipation and whatnot. These are related to holding on to stress. These uh, saints animals are serving this area by cleaning out the darkness that has agreed to accept the virtue. For each of those that are continuing to chant, the dependency of the value of this service is related directly to the authenticity of your sincerity of your request for forgiveness and your acknowledgement that you may have made some significant mistakes in previous times. So as you move forward in this practice, it is our greatest encouragement that you be deeply authentically sincere in any request for forgiveness and offering a forgiveness. How? Let us continue to chant and I'll continue to trace. Da Quan Shu 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 Greatest forgiveness, greatest forgiveness, greatest forgiveness, greatest forgiveness. I forgive you. Forgive me, bring love, peace, harmony, bring love, peace, and harmony. I forgive you, please forgive me. Bring love, peace, harmony. Bring love, peace, and harmony. Da Quan Shu. Da Quan Shu. 
大宽恕，大宽恕，大宽恕，大宽恕。大宽恕，大宽恕。好，好，好。Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let us bow our head nine times to the divine Dawn Source. To the countless holy beings that came through this practice to serve us unconditionally. Countless bow downs, countless bow downs, countless bow downs. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Divine Tao and Source. Thank you, Master Shah. Thank you, Doc Wan Shu, and all the holy beings transmitted to the calligraphy to serve us at this time. Okay, so welcome to anybody new that's come in. We were just focusing uh, on uh, tremendous healing practice, Doc Wan Shu. And uh, we've had some amazing results. I've been sweating this whole time. And so please uh, comment any of the benefits you might have noticed, if, depending on what you requested. Um, typically, obviously, finances, obviously, there's no immediate notification other than a, maybe a sense of release of stress, things of that nature, which is always wonderful. Um, so I, I've seen sub, several comments come up regarding um, how to address uh, issues of karma. <clears throat> that show up in our life, sometimes um, pain, sometimes finances. And again, the one sense of secret, the root cause of all success and all failure in every aspect of life is karma. And we, we have these negative connotations towards that word, but the reality is we should not. Uh, we have a great deal of control over it the moment we become aware of it, the moment we take responsibility. That's where we, we can begin the healing process. Um, so Kristen says, it occurred to me earlier today that one more thing that I need to do a forgiveness practice with, and that is with either will not receive, um, should or cannot be received. Okay. Tina He uh, comments on her shoulder. So thank you, Tina. I see that it's, it's kind of fluctuating in and out. Um, ultrasound showed further test, uncertain spot on breast area. Yeah, I'm not sure it's that that big to worry about, Tina. Um, the as far as the pain, I think it's actually related to something else. Um, it's uh, not a bad thing necessarily. Something you probably heard of, but I don't like mentioning it on a Facebook live stream like this. As some people's perceptions might uh, might say that it's um, uh, wrong nomenclature. So Facebook me message me uh, later, and I'll, I'll tell you what I what I think the source of it is. Um, and welcome Neil and Anna Morris is asking for guidance please. I think I saw a uh, mention earlier on Morris about um, karma relations to health. So um, people individually, last week I did focus on soul readings on an individual basis, just you know a complimentary service. Um, but it is something that I do for a living. So if it's something that you truly have some major health issues with, or blockages with, um, do see me as an individual basis. Divine services are not small things. They have the opportunity to clear the blockages and allow the healing to occur a lot faster. It just requires you to become aware of how they work. So I'm happy to work with anybody individually. Um, and I can offer, you know, brief guidance. But the guidance, even if I told you what the source of it was, uh, uh, based on what I'm hearing from heaven, you'd still need to have some of the higher level divine services to remove some of the major karmic stuff. Um, the, the purpose of forgiveness practice, the greatest da's, doing all the ten da's, is to bring virtuous activity to us, to clear the, the debris on our path so we can have more good virtue in our life. Whenever we have a blockage, such as a health issue or a financial blockage, people say, what do I do? Well, the first thing is you do forgiveness and you do it a lot more than once. A lot more than once, guys. If you're suffering, if you've been suffering one day, okay, do it once. But if you've been suffering 10 years, guess what? You need to do a lot. 
and there is a reason why you're suffering so long, okay? And so it's, it's, it's not necessarily always the, the length of time, although that is certainly relevant. It is the depth and authenticity. It is the taking of the responsibility, okay? And so there are some very powerful uh, forgiveness practices. You can go to tv.drsha.com, and this is a 24-hour uh, service channel. Literally, there are 30 trillion saints that have been transmitted to this service channel, tv.drsha.com, tv.drsha.com. And uh, anybody can go there and ask for blessing requests. And just below the blessing request area is PDFs where you can download forgiveness practices and all the Love, Peace, Harmony song. All kinds of beautiful uh, healing, free healing is available through that, uh, through that website, tv.drsha.com. Please take advantage of all these free things. But when you still are not able to get, uh, sometimes if the karma is heavy enough and you still can't get results, come to a divine channel like myself. Learn more about the services we offer. They will change your life. Um, okay, so Kayla Darling, welcome Kayla. Kat Pemberton, hi, first time here from New Zealand. Yay, we love our Kiwis. Welcome Kat. And Raul, great to see you again Raul. Uh, experiences of bliss. Christina Cote, the person I needed to forgive, my mother. She just contacted me. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. You know, this happens a lot, guys, I have to tell you. Um, when we do forgiveness with that one person and we truly authentically forgive them and we ask for forgiveness, they'll contact us out of the blue. And the, the most weird part about it, when they contact you out of the blue, they'll act like nothing ever happened. They'll act like, you know, it's all good. Why? Because soul healing, forgiveness, all healing occurs at the level of soul. The physical body represents the blockages that are showing up at the soul level. The soul lives forever, remember. Our physical body lives, you know, 100 years. And so all of the success we have is because our soul had many good lifetimes of success and benefit, and we earned it. If we're suffering in any levels in any certain aspect of our life, we also earn that. So when you heal things at the level of where it's following us from lifetime to lifetime, and you release it at that level, of course it's going to reflect down here. Why does it work when we, we do forgiveness with our mother or father, that one person we've had so much difficulty with? Why does it work? Why do we hear from them in a very short period of time and it's like nothing has happened? How is that possible? It's very simple. This, it was released at the level of soul. The souls are dancing. You have that one person in your life that you, that, that, that you have difficulty with, that's a personality you have difficulty with. That soul and your soul, they're always powwowing. How can we get these two together? How can we get this resolved? We really don't want to do this lifetime to lifetime. They're not learning their lesson. That's why we came together, so they could learn their lesson, so they could forgive each other, so we could go about uh, be fulfilling our heart and moving closer to God. Souls know this. It's the personalities are the ones that are stuck in the ego. So we have to get past our ego and move to the much higher level of authenticity, much higher level of understanding. If we communicate soul to soul, dear the soul of my mother, please come. I love you, if it's your mother you have troubles with. Um, I want to acknowledge that I, I've truly been suffering for a very long time as a result of, of your communication with me. And I want to recognize that I may have been one communicated the same way to you. I might have been overzealous, commandeering, a helicopter mom. I could have kept you from the love of your life. There's so many, you know, I, I wish to take responsibility because I have received all that from you. I have anger and resentment for all of these things you've, quote, done to me. But if I did that to you, Oh my God, I can't imagine how much you must have suffered. And if I have, I deeply apologize from the bottom of my heart. That is a deep and true authentic forgiveness practice. That is what will change your life. And you don't do it once, guys. You do it until you're completely released. You do it until you don't need to do it anymore. Okay? That's the power of forgiveness. You want to transform your health blockage? What is it? Is it cancer of the breast? Is it a heart issue? Is it a knee issue? Apologize from the bottom of your heart to all the souls that you may have brought suffering to their knee or heartbreak, heartache, 
lying to them. Um, it, you, maybe you stabbed them in the heart when you were a soldier in some lifetime. Uh, we don't know. Knowing this does not matter. Authenticity matters. You wonder what you ask for in this for? Where are you suffering? Very simple. Where you're suffering is where you ask forgiveness for. This message is so powerful, it, it hiccuped on you. You couldn't even hear my message because, you know, that's how darkness works. It doesn't want you to, to uh, rise above to the light, you know. So I'll repeat. If you want to know where to ask for forgiveness, where are you suffering? Then ask all souls in all lifetimes for any times you have harmed them in the area of where you're suffering, you deeply and sincerely apologize. How many times? As many as it takes your whole life, if that's what it takes. The second part is unconditional universal service. You hear me chant every time I come on live stream, love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony is the highest frequency song on the planet today. It's God frequency. Don't believe me? That's okay. Download it, listen to it, it will change your emotional environment in a heartbeat. It is the highest frequency love-based song on the planet today. And all souls on the planet have received it. It is literally a part of their soul. So what does that mean? That means when we chant it and we invite all souls to join with us, that means God saying, Ah, my beautiful daughter, has asked all souls to sing love, peace, and harmony to serve all souls. That is tremendous, unconditional service to serve others. I will put virtue in my daughter's virtue bank because she is doing this willingly of her own heart. Because it is a divine song, because all souls are chanting with you, you've asked them to, the virtue stacks up in your virtue bank. What does good virtue do to offset bad virtue? Like paying off a house debt. So how do you clear your financial blockages? How do you clear your health issues? How do you clear any problems? Ask for forgiveness. Do virtuous service. That doesn't mean always going out and serving at the soup kitchen. You can do it wherever you're at. Download Love, Peace, and Harmony from lovepeaceharmony.org. Very simple. I'll happy to send it to you, no problem. The more people that know about this song, it's in 28 languages. If you want to sing Tagalog, we got it. You want to sing Thai, got that. Mandarin, Chinese, Hebrew, it's in 28 languages. You can sing any one you want to sing. But it's service. So, today is the second day. Ten days of the ten das. Each of the ten virtues help us to clear Shen, Qi, and Jing blockages. Shen, Qi, and Jing blockages are blockages of soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. And when we clear these blockages from our life, our life gets better, 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 and better. There's only one way to clear it faster, and that is through divine services. Each day I will mention what's called a crown chakra blessing. And I'm happy to offer it to anybody for... Um, uh, forgiveness, for love, for compassion. Each one of the days is a tenda. You can choose one or all of them. A crown chakra blessing is a two-minute blessing in which the divine places its hand over your head. I'm a conduit by which that occurs. And, it, I, 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 you know, I've done this too long to know that it doesn't work. It will transform your life. And if you need that crown chakra blessing for a specific forgiveness with a specific person, that can certainly be done. Okay? So, it's only $100.00. It's priceless. It will save you the equivalent of about 10 years of your own chanting on your own service and your own forgiveness and your own love. One crown chakra blessing would save you about 10 years of your own efforts. So consider it. The more you become aware, the more um, you, can, you can save yourself a whole lot of suffering, okay? Um, I want to comment by what people's comments are and then um, wrap up and prepare for tomorrow, which is greatest compassion. So Kayla Darling says, it was totally blissful. I felt so much anxiety and fear and stress before, and she feels so much release now. Wow, great. Um, Elizabeth says her throat felt a bit in a knot. Uh, not too common that we see where body parts react, but if things like that happen, most likely it's darkness leaving. Um, so Renee is watching. Marie, welcome Marie Franz. Great to see you. Um, 
And then we see a thanks on Anamara's response. Lama Rangbar, great to see you, wonderful, always great to see new people. Nicole, great to see you as well. And Kristen's wonderful comments. Thank you, Kristen, for posting the drshaw.com. Uh, just scroll through where I'm about right now with Kristen Rojas, and you'll see she posted the, the free website that Master Shaw put up. 30 trillion saints here to serve you, complimentary. Take advantage of it, guys. Um, Monica says, the I, greatest Master Paul, greatest service. She's truly enjoying the divine service aspects. Raul, curious to know your opinion on psychedelic substances like psilocybin and how they related to deeper experiences of body, soul, and mind. Can't cover it this time, Raul. Um, Dove, I could see and feel my massage message center on fire. It was then uh, shown her Akashic Records, her third eye, showed her Akashic Records book, bathed with Da Quan Shu calligraphy. Ah, oh, looked like her past pages were being blessed as in flow. Great sharing. Thank you so much. Countless bow downs. Um, Suki, very powerful practice master. As you started tracing, I felt very high frequency and vibration in her whole body and saw darkness fading, full of light, whole body is still. Uh, Dog on in. Dog on in is greatest gratitude. Okay? That's number uh, eight, I believe, of the ten das. So make sure you keep coming back because each virtue carries such power. And then Carol, Kristen, and Anne has responded with positive comments, and Elizabeth and Jennifer just came in to join us. Okay. So I will offer a blessing now using one of my healing treasures specific forgiveness for a specific request. Make your request. You have 10 seconds. Five more seconds. Blessing begin. Did the source soul song Lula Lula Li? Please turn on on all souls that are watching this at this time. Please specifically bless their area of request as I chant using my healing transmissions as well. Lula Lula Li Lula Lula La Li Lula Lula Li Lula Lula Li Lula Lula li lula, I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Healing treasures, please return. So tonight, uh, here in Honolulu, we are initiating the world love, peace, harmony uh, activity for the next 
10 days or 20 days, um, there will be constant chanting. Um, the chanting channel, which was mentioned earlier, tv.drsha.com, will be serving 24 hours of chanting love, peace, and harmony. You want good virtue? You want to change your blockages? Tune into this channel, chant as much as you possibly can. When you chant in a group, the virtue is tenfold. It is the greatest opportunity to transform whatever blockages you might be going through. You can join tonight, go to drshaw.com and look for the Love Peace Harmony Chanting Series. Sign up for it. You can also, uh, uh, I will put the link uh, when I um, finish here and I, I push post. It'll give me a chance to, to put additional information. I will put the link to register for that. And. Um, it is one of the greatest opportunities over the next 10 to 20 days to earn just extraordinary amounts of virtue. The kind of virtue would take you maybe 10 lifetimes to earn on your own. Um, so great, great, great opportunity. I thank all of you for coming tomorrow. Da Tzu Bei, greatest compassion. I will invite our beloved spiritual mother Kuan Yin to offer blessings on your behalf. It will be extraordinary. Bring your friends, make sure you show the video, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.